caveat emptor, okay, buyer beware. If you are a business with a large supply chain, um, just be careful with what you state as your carbon footprint. Sometimes you will say it's that. And I was dealing with um, a potential client yesterday and they said exactly that. So our carbon footprint is that. They're in the construction industry, they're a large company, and they'd base their entire supply chain calculation on spend-based data. They'd got a figure from the government of the, it's called the EEIO, um, Extended Economic Input Output, that tells them roughly how much carbon is emitted per pound spent. And they'd use that figure to calculate their footprint. It's wildly inaccurate. It's extremely old. The figures that they're referring to, I know them, they're sort of 15 years old and they weren't that brilliant in the first place because how can you take a wide sector, any sector really, but this was construction and just say, you know, it's that. You know, if you're going to be building, for example, you know, so roof trusses or door frames, you're going to have a different carbon figure than if, for example, you're doing flooring or something like that. Okay. So, it's perfectly fine to do that. It's going to give you a range. It's going to give you some sort of um, sort of at least a good estimate about what's going on. But just be careful about when you say it's, it's that. What you need to say instead is we estimated that, that at the moment. We're working to improve it to use you know software like, like the Enistic stuff, etc., to get to grips with our supply chain. But it could be this. It could be that. It could be that. And at the moment we don't know. Our best estimate is that. And you know you need to make that clear to people. You know, don't go around trying to pull the wool over their eyes. Say we know exactly what it is. Is that no, you don't. Okay, that's just an estimate. And if you're going to be using spend activity, spend based costing, it's going to be wildly, you know, sort of off the mark. All right. I hope that was useful. Please be careful when explaining carbon footprints to people. Just the the problems that you've had working them out. Software like Anistic, which can kind of do this recursive going down your supply chain can help can make it better but at the end of the day you know we're all working towards the same goal but there is a problem built into the system at the moment in that we've got a big lack of data to work with and uh, i'm sure it'll get better over time but that's where we are today